I see many things, oh, Christopher, oh, Christopher, Christopher and Zeke, I see many things. What, what? I see a boiled eggs. What? Boiled eggs. Where? I just feel boiled eggs. Huh? There are yeah. his eyes. Huh? Oh, oh, eyes. oh, oh, sorry. Ah, oh, Christopher. What? I am Madame Zag. Ooh. I am here to tell fortunes. Ooh. I am an expert. <laughs> Export the telling fortune. You've been reading that Christopher! Again, Christopher! Oh, Christopher Evans! Christopher yes. Evans, are you here, Christopher Evans? <gasps> Speak to me, Christopher Evans! Last week it was shooting it was horses, so hard, now it's purposeful. Christopher, what? let me see your hand. Because this is my expertise. But, brother, I look at the hand, we are dead for I see twins. a life. Yeah. A life, a long life, a short life, a little life, a long life, a long They're life. They're my fingers. Oh, okay. uh, I, what I do is I read. I read. Pump. There are four important lines. Okay. Life lines. Mm -hmm. Headlines, uh, yes, yes. heart lines, mm -hmm. and fate lines. Oh dear. And Christopher, never, ever, ever! Oh no, ever! No! Oh yes, no! <laughs> never must they cross. And because if, they, if they cross, it means that your life is full of cross roading, things that may go wrong, horrible things. Oh no, horrible. Yes, horrible. What about me? Oh, what about hold me? on, hold on, it's Whoa. Whoa! Give me a look, What? What? These lines. Yeah. Very, very many crossings. Huh? Too many crossings. What's that mean? Not good. Oh. Oh, no. no Why? No. Oh, no, no. Okay, then. Why? Your lifeline, you see, should be clearly and deeply marked, unbroken, uncrossed. Your life should curve generously, according to an old Indian tradition. The old Indian traditions. Where? What all this is about oh, is yes. the fact that uh, oh. from now on, every oh. Wednesday, Zag is going to read oh. your poems. Oh. Oh. But uh, you're wondering, how can you read your palms if you're at home? Well, what you have to do is send a photocopy of your palm in, photocopy your palm, send it in, and he will read the photocopies of your palm every Wednesday from now on. Got it? OK, then. Oh, dear. And the illustrator needs to crunch the big breakfast, too, like he was going to go forward. Lock, line, E, three, two, and photocopies of your palms. To know your life and what it brings, mm. send them to me. Mm. Send them to me. Oh, yes. If you're so good at telling the future, uh, what are we going to do next? Oh, oh dear. We have abandoned D Ream. Yes, what else? They are wonderful. Yes, what and else? we will be doing the question about the clip. When? Oh, really work. Right now. Oh, he's so right. Wow. Let me see he's what... obviously no fake. Oh, what is the question? Oh, well, have a look in the crystal ball. What happens next? He's so right. And remember. What? Don't phone! It's just for fun. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Question of day 081985 What is the height of bad taste? Let's go upstairs with Zig and Zag. Yeah. Whoa, hey. It's Peter Connor from D Reed! Yeah, Pete, sorry about this. Hold on a second. Pete, right. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Madonna. Yeah, Madonna, yeah. Okay, Madonna. yeah. Madonna, yeah. Madonna. Okay. Madonna. 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 No, no. We're not worthy. Peter worthy. Connor from D Reed is here. We can't have you in today. Look, we'll play your video. That's the best I can do. Oh. Well, you'll have to live with it, won't the you? of this man. Look, well, stop ringing me. Stop ringing me. Wow. wow. She rang us one night at quarter yes. past nine. Quarter past she nine, did. not nine, quarter oh. past. She did. Purr. Yeah. Purr. Well, back what? to the business. The I'm fancy sorry. Woman? The fancy what? woman? Maybe have one. She's okay. I went out with her, you know, a few years. But really? It wasn't serious, really. <sighs> it was a bit of a thing, though, because, I mean, was, you were busting up that time with uh, Cindy. All oh, right. So, Richard, oh, so, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather she was not, on the rebound, right? Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it. Right. Okay. In fact, I have a more, more interesting thing that all our viewers actually uh, would like to know. <laughs> sure. It's a question that I ask on behalf of Big Breakfast viewers. Yeah. And that is, did you always want to be a pop star? Oh, oh you got it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah. This is Peter Cunner from Dereem. Can I just say that you never introduced him to the viewers? And that was I did, very I did at the top. No, you didn't. You talked on the phone to Madonna. Oh, I did. No, yeah. I did. Did, did he? I said Peter he, Cunner from Dereem. But it's not. Okay, I apologise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, we have some decent questions for you now, Peter. Right. Uh, okay. Question number one is this. People are always saying he's the nicest man in show business. Yeah. Who, in your opinion, is, in fact, the nicest man in show business? Um... I'd have to say Mr. Des O'Connor. Oh! Not just Des O'Connor, Mr. Well, Des O'Connor. Again, respect. Okay, respect. It's you, Desi boy. Desi boy! Desi, 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 if you ever want to come in this bathroom, you're very welcome. Yes, Mr. Okay, okay, we have a question here. Okay. Peter, you are famous for being in the Reem. The Reem. But what was your worst dream you've ever had? 
Oh, I suppose it was like appearing on Desert Connor's show. Oh! Why was that a worse? Why was that your worst dream? I don't know. He um. If he was your hero. I he, he made was... me sing with him a duet. With him? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, I understand that. Yeah. Because you're singing your own. That's yeah. okay. But with he. Mm. I mean, yeah. even though he's I the nicest man in show even, business, yeah, you wouldn't you do know, a duet with him. Okay, fair enough, cool. Yeah. And then uh, we have question number three here. Okay, Peter Connor, you are famous for being in Dream. <laughs> Here's a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Peter Connor. Why? No, Peter Connor who? Listen, Peter Connor who? Peter Connor, come in. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like that? Come in anytime, anytime you want. Thanks. Anytime you want. No, you didn't need to answer it. Just All right, like, see. Punchline, over. Punchline, so that's yeah. it. Anyway, anyway, look, you're here to help us. With... <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 there's some videos, aren't you, Peter? Yes, whatever you threw at me. Okay. Well, there's a brand new band uh, uh, called Stan. Stan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you did say, you did ask. Stan! Yeah. Stan! It was a verbal thing. Whatever you throw at him didn't mean actually throw something at him. Sweating, sorry. Sorry, Stan. Peter. Okay, and okay. this is a brand new band called Stan. Yes. And it's going to be a big hit, big so hit. we're told. Yes. And this is Suntan. Excellent. Suntan. Down my leg. Suntan. On my nose. Suntan. Across my back. Suntan. Down my toes. Suntan. Down my arms. Suntan. Round my eyes. Suntan. Across my chest. Suntan. Down my thighs. Suntan. Suntan. Yeah. Suntan. That was terrible. That was possibly the worst video we've ever had. Very, very rude. I know Kate was saying that. Say it again. That's the best and friendliest I can say. What a pile of poo! You say it. You can say that. He's in the toilet. What a pile of poo! Sigmund, I'll have your with you. I would say definitely yes. Okay, a huge pile or just a little pile? <laughs> Massive pile. Yeah, yeah, okay, European mansion of poo. Absolutely. Okay, that's what we think of that, but as you said, it'll probably be a big hit. It'll be huge. Zeg, to be. Zeg, are you not one of the boys? You're not doing it? Come on, poo. Say, 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 <laughs> You cannot say poo. I think yeah, we can. What's we just that? Did. Uh, now, here we have a, a video from the far side who are, who are a little like uh, somebody you may have seen before. You Guess who, after you've seen the video? Oh, you better be careful. <laughs> To the other. Uh, cool, and uh, I thought of reminiscent like of the rest of the development, like maybe. Yeah. And yeah. that's called Passing Me By. They're from LA. Mm -hmm. Do you like them? It's not bad. Oh, it's got a good, like good nice people. attitude, nice summer drive time. That's yeah. what I'm about. Okay, well, nice next group. one, next one. Next, next one straight away, okay. Yeah. The next one is, is Maddie's song. Oh. Okay, this is right. Madonna's song. Sorry, Here we go. Sorry, you have to play it. Zags, 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 Zags. How, how can you turn down such a woman? Look at her. Well, so pure and sweet. Jesus. I know, but like, you know, oh. it's all you ship her, man. You, you know, have to... Oh, all right, I see. Yeah, yeah. when it comes to that, what do you do? Claudia ship her and Madonna, what, what are you going to do? That's a follow-up to Fever, really? that's range, you like it? But, man, she's, she's rich. She could, like, you could have a great time. You'd be in Cadillac, she'd be driven everywhere, you wouldn't have to work. What do you mean, I don't... I'm... Obviously, you don't know me uh, <laughs> uh, outside of work, really. Do you? <laughs> that was all that anyway. Yeah, do that anyway. Okay, well, that was all right. But uh, we've seen it all before, but I'm sure yeah. it still continues to be a huge hit. It already is one. Yeah. Peter, we've got to go now. All right. Well, thanks, thanks, Peter. Thanks for having me. Thanks very much, Peter Keller. All right. Peter from D-Ring.